Hello! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Victoria Radford. I'm a makeup artist and medical esthetician based in Toronto, but I'm currently in beautiful Paris, France. And Brooke and I have been staying here for a few days. This is my new, hands down, favorite hotel in Paris. You heard it here first. It's called the Kipton. I did a room tour, so you may have seen it. If you haven't, then it's coming up on the channel really soon. I did a few more in-depth uh, things on my Instagram as well. If you don't already follow me, it's just Victoria Radford at Instagram. And every time I travel anywhere, I'm always so inspired by the vibe for makeup and for my hair, for my clothing. And to me, that kind of edgy winged liner, just like, you know, really chic, very understated, but kind of rock and roll cat eye, but like a line, is so Paris to me. And yesterday we were shopping, walking through the streets, and we stopped at a stoplight and there was a group of, uh, they looked like they might have been teenagers, but they were like around 20 years old, and they were so cute and so fashion-y. And the one girl turns to her girlfriend, and they all had like a little line, like a cat eye, but the one girl turns to her girlfriend and whips out one of these like felt pens and is like, come here, and drew a cat eye line at the stop sign while we were walking around. And if I could have thought quick enough, if I could have thought quick enough, I would have pulled out my phone and videotaped it because it was so cute slightly unhygienic, but so cute, so innocent, so perfectly Paris, France, in my opinion. And I knew that when I came home, I was gonna do a video for you because really the conventional liner, and it's that cat eye, kitten eye, whatever, it's a little bit more like a doll, doll looking vibe. It's very pretty. But this is a little bit more editorial, slightly more edgy, way more effortless. Like, standing at the corner of a street stop and your friend, like, throwing on a line, that's the level of effortless we're going for. So, I just, I was just traveling, so my skin needs a little help. I put on uh, my eye masks because that's what I had time for. Brooke is in the bathroom now blow drying her hair. She has the whole face mask on because she's smarter than I am. Uh, but I did my hair yesterday so I didn't want to like do too much and I wanted this to be nice and quick. So let's see because these have been marinating for at least 10 minutes and already I can feel it like my skin really needed it. I can feel pulling it off that it's like suction. My skin's like, no. Ah. It's the afternoon here, so I already woke up this morning, I did my skincare, I curled my eyelashes, but I'm not wearing any mascara. But we're going to start with just a little bit of glow. And the reason we're starting with just a little bit, and normally I'm like bathing myself in it, is because I only travel with a carry-on. And as you know, I have like my whole makeup kit on me. So a lot of the products I took are not full. I'm actually traveling for like a month consecutively. So I'm going to try for the first time in my life to tr make my products last as long as possible. So same with tint. I brought Beachy, which is on the lighter side. I can be between, well, technically my I'm Beachy, but I try and put Sunkiss on to give myself almost like a liquid bronzer. But right now, we'll just focus on beachy. Not about makeup. I want my skin to look like skin, but like really like skin. I'm going to use a little bit of caramel, so more of the light contour, because I don't have a lot on my face. I did have a little bit of um, cinnamon that I put on earlier, and actually, let's add just a little bit more. I want that like a little more extreme. I'm gonna use this quite sparingly because it's like a darker contour shade. And then I'm going to use pearl stick. So rather than vanilla foundation stick, which I would usually put on as concealer, I'm going to use pearl. So my skin just looks beautiful and luminous. 
I'll just warm my hands up, give myself some love. Okay, just kidding. I just looked in the mirror and I have like, just from the airplane, some little, some little baby pimps. So I'm going to just a touch of vanilla. I'm not putting it on full blast. We'll set that with a little bit of powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish number two, and especially over the areas that I just covered. I'm not going to put a lot of bronzer on, just a little bit of rose gold, and I'm going to concentrate it right where my bronzer is. So it will just look like my bronzer has been heated up. You can see the difference. I have four options for my lid. Uh, this is really fun. I did make up on the social and use this Urban Decay heavy metal glitter gel. It was originally actually created um, from their very popular 90s glitter gel that they revived, which is so perfect for right now, but maybe a little bit more like a Saturday night. Then I have this prototype I'm working on. It's like also metallic. Again, it's, it is a little bit more natural than it looks, but it's Wednesday here. So we're going to go with one of the more subdued options. So one is just taking a little bit of pearl stick and putting it on my lid. And two is taking a, a little bit of this. It's um, DM Color Fix, and I love this little squeezy cream. Ah, it's open. Let's use this one. I'm just going to put a touch here. I'll let you see it in the light. Just a touch on my lid and I'm concentrating it near the bottom so it really highlights my eyelashes. On my finger I'll put up here and let's even put a little bit on my cheek. Last and final step is the one swipe effortless cat eye. I'm just actually before lips but that I never count that. Um, so I'm just shaking it so that I get it nice and fresh. I'm using this Makeup Forever pen as I usually do. I think it's the only one that I brought with me. So you'll probably be seeing this used a lot. And I'm going to start by holding it perpendicular and just really tucking myself in and then just really acting as if this is a stamp. Just stamping it all the way across not trying to draw a straight line. If I feel like I need to blink, I just hold the wand out a little bit. Put in the tight liner. Okay, so I didn't, I don't ever want to go right to the base where my lower lid meets my upper lid because I want to appear lifted. So just a little bit above that and one straight line out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this tip to the shape. And I'm going to do it by holding the pen backwards. This one a little bit thicker than I usually do. So I wanted just a bit of a different shape, a bit of a different look. And I like it, I might bring it up just a little more. The trick to making a Q-tip your friend is you want to relax your eye. So if you notice when you go like this, the line looks different and when you relax, it gets a little droopy. So relax your eye and where you're seeing the droopiness, just use the Q-tip and drag out or drag in. Now for the hard part, we need to match the other eye. So everyone please say a little prayer to the cat eye gods for me, with me. I always start in the same way, which is just by doing my little stampy stamp. Okay, and here we go. We'll get the trajectory correct. So it's a little bit different from what I normally do. Just moving you a little bit so you can see. Not bad. It's kind of like the idea. It's more or less. It's like sisters, not twins. That's that effortless vibe. I'm just going to fluff my eyebrows up a little bit. Oh, Yeah, that's okay. Good enough. And let's put on copious amounts of mascara. 
Before you ask me what kind of mascara this is, it's a prototype. <laughs> but it could be coming soon because a lot of you have done a very good job of asking for mascara. Curl did so well, you know, it sold out after only four days, which is also coming back in stock. I've been testing this mascara for years and it's the best, best clean mascara. One of my favorite things about doing YouTube with you guys is that I guess I, I because I don't have a lot of followers yet, I can really talk freely. Like my business partner would kill me if I went on Instagram and just talked about the fact that we're making a mascara because then millions of people would message asking for it and then I get in trouble with you guys. I feel like you get the inside scoop first. Let's put it on the bottom too. Let's do the same lips I did yesterday because I loved that. And it's going to be rose gold lip liner. Everyone always asks me if I got my lips done whenever I use this lip liner. And I want to keep them looking a little bit lined so that I get that 1990s vibe, very Pamela Anderson. And then Rose Gold Glow. We'll just continue to highlight that, so pretty. And then just a touch of makeup on. I'm ready, I'm going to get dressed. You can see, I want you to see the whole look in the light because it's so pretty. Very natural, very luminous. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. We are going to have a lot of fun. We're going for dinner. It's like a three hour tasting menu because uh, Brooke knows how much I love tasting menus. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night. Mwah!